Welcome guys to a lovely Monday here in my hometown, back in Madison, Wisconsin. Talking to you about something today that I feel that you will benefit from if you want freedom. You're missing out. If you're not out there approaching women, you're absolutely missing out because approaching women is an act of your freedom as a man. When you see a woman and you like her and you don't go approach, what you feel is frustration. What you feel is, is restriction. What you feel is constriction within yourself. That's because your nature wants to respond to the situation, but what's reacting is your mind. And I can attest to this. I could tell you guys so many times where I've seen a situation and I didn't do it and I just felt frustrated. I saw a woman I wanted to talk to and I just didn't do anything simply because I was afraid. I didn't want the outcome to lean towards a way that I didn't want, so what I did is not go up. But I wish I would have knew, I wish I would have known in that moment that I was just cramping my freedom. I wish I would have known in that moment that if I would have did that at that time, I would have been feeling more free. I was missing out at those times. I wasn't missing out on a woman saying yes to me, actually in a way I was, but what I mainly was missing out on is acting on the experience that was there. That's what I was missing out on. And guys, they'll wait. They'll wait, just like I did. They'll wait and wait and wait, and they'll wait for the perfect time, or they'll get everything handled in their life, and women last, just so they can avoid the experience is going to give them the true freedom, but they'll take the little hits of freedom at first. And that feels good. These little hits of freedom gives you the chance to be able to, uh, so to speak, have confidence for the next thing that you're going to do. But, of course, it doesn't give you the real experience of being there with a woman. Approaching women doesn't make you, so to speak, a free man, but what it does do is that it gives you a certain freedom that otherwise you wouldn't have. It gives you a certain taste of something di different that your freedom allows you. Our freedom as men is so important to us because we are so much ident identified with the masculine energy that emptiness and relaxation and situations where we don't feel constricted leads us through life. That's why a man through life, he'll consistently be attacking his fear differently than a woman will. Freedom for us means so much. When you approach a woman, that is an act of your true freedom. It is. That's something that you uh, allow as a gift. It feels amazing, actually, as a man to do that. It feels incredibly freeing. Just freeing. It feels very freeing to just go do the thing you want to do. But you miss out on every opportunity by not allowing your nature to be what it wants to be. In the moment, your nature, it wants to be free. But because you are stopping yourself, because you are second guessing yourself, because you see a situation and then you go, no, I'm not going to do that. This person is right there. I'm not going to do this. Your freedom takes a hit every single time. So you know what that means? Your masculinity takes a hit every single time. I'm not here to tell you in this video that you should go approach. That's not what I'm here to tell you. I'm not here to tell you that if you, go st if you start approaching women, you're going to become a free man. Because that's not the truth. Approaching women is just an act of your freedom that's already there. I'm just here to give you insight into the fact that for you to really feel free to approach women, you have to understand that that doesn't hold the key to your freedom. You're already free innately, but that is an act of your freedom. And that is a beautiful act of freedom because that is a situation for your freedom to really become an asset. I can tell you something right now that most men won't know and some men probably know out there, but a man's freedom is a woman's greatest asset. It is. Because 
through his freedom, she's gonna be pulled into many different types of experiences that she would not otherwise do with a man who's less free. A man who's more free is more prone to spontaneity. A man that's more free is more prone to being able to see situations and go, be able to guide her through her experience. A man that's free is much is himself, unlike a man who's locked down by something that's on the inside. A man that's locked down by the fear of what she thinks. The man that's locked down by losing the woman and being afraid so he becomes needy. She won't experience her full self with that type of man. She just absolutely won't. But the man that is the epitome of freedom, he is the most valuable and attractive prospect to her. Of course, if he's just one-sided and only free, yes, the woman will lose interest because he always wants to be unattached or totally like, I'm not uh, in the feeling thing. Of course, if he only had freedom, then she would go, okay, where's the feeling? But I'm telling you right now, that is a woman's greatest, greatest asset that she'll get from a man is this freedom. If you're missing out on freedom, you're missing out on your masculinity. You are. You're totally missing out on yourself. You're missing out on the truest expression of what your nature wants to be. And I've had moment after moment after moment of, in my life, remember going up to women and just not feeling like I can say this. I remember situations where I would see a situation and go, no, nah, I shouldn't do that. This may happen. This woman is there. This person may think this. And every single time that I did that and I just stopped myself from doing it, the outcome was me feeling frustrated. The outcome was me feeling like I want to do this again or I need to get this handled or something to that degree. Men, we love freedom. We do. Your nature pulls you to being free if you're a masculine man. It pulls you there. You are completely missing out if you don't go approach women because that is one of the greatest acts of your freedom as a man. It's one of the greatest acts. One of the greatest acts of, as, a, as a free man is also being able to be who you are and being able to be up against judgment and being able to express yourself in this way that most people won't. There's many ways that your freedom wants to express itself, but one of the main ways, that's beautiful, one of the main ways where it's gonna really have an impact is going to talk to a woman because you're interacting up close, firsthand with the feminine in a, in a way where you can start to be stretched and challenged and loved in a whole new different way. This is the beauty that you're missing out on. If you're out there and you're saying to yourself, you know what, I'm not gonna to talk to this girl. You know what, I don't wanna do this. You know what, I'll just wait. Any of these strips you away from the thing that your nature is, which is freedom. Your nature is freedom. You want to feel free, I know you do, because guess what, I always wanted to feel free. I always wanted to be in a situation where I could just look at a woman and feel good about looking at her. And not have to worry about, oh my gosh, she saw me looking at me. I wanted the freedom of seeing a woman walk down the street and going, okay, I'm gonna go speak to her and try to take her somewhere. I wanted the freedom of being able to speak to a woman and show my intention. I wanted that freedom so bad and I had all these blocks on top of me. But I can tell you right now, the journey is worth it. When you allow yourself to be as freedom, you start to notice that these acts of freedom become completely wonderful. That's the best way I can describe it because now the act of freedom that I have now, the way I feel free, you have to forgive me guys, my allergies, uh, this is a new season. So every time the season change, it becomes stronger. So it may sound like my nose is in involved with me talking, but just stay with me. With these acts of freedom that I had, I love just being able to follow it in the moment. And I know that that's one thing that you wanna do. You want to follow what it is that you feel that's gonna allow you to be free in the moment. Not only do you wanna be free, all people wanna be free. I said it like you're just, I'm singling you out, no. 
I know that all people want to be free, but we have situations that lock us down. We absolutely do. And me being someone who has walked through and walked through and allowed situations to lock me down, I've been in situations where I didn't do things that I know that I wanted to do. I know what it's like to go out there, see a woman and not do it. I know what that's like. I know what it's like to want to express something and not say it. I know what it's like to stand somewhere and have people look at me and feel like I don't want to do it. I don't want to do something. I know what all that feels like. But I can tell you right now, because I had the fortitude, because I had the strength to walk through these situations that scared the fuck out of me, that really, really, really hurt me, really. It's the way, it's the reason why I feel free the way I do now. This freedom didn't come to me by me just standing around and going, you know what? I hope that I get the chance to go talk to a woman one day. You know what? I hope that that girl over there, she goes somewhere else where she's alone so I don't have to be around people, so I have to go talk to her. So, Because right now, I don't want to talk to her because there's people around her, but if those people leave, I'll go. If I just did this, if I literally just did that in situations, I would never be where I am now. Never will I be here. This is deep spiritual work. That's what it is. It's seeing a situation, becoming aware of what I'm feeling, being able to stand in what I'm feeling, and being able to go do what I want. That is the hardest thing a person will walk through in life, is seeing a situation, feeling the intensity of it, walking into the intensity of it, staying through the intensity of it while doing what they want to do. That is the hardest thing a person will do because that is the transition from not living life to living life. That is the transition. From fear of what people think to being free. That is the transition. So man, you're missing out. You are. I was missing out, man. And I say this to you because I want you to wake up to the fact that you want to be free. And if you could tell me to my face, if you were to see me, that you don't want to be free, I would tell you that you're lying. You want to be free simply because you are a person that's living. All living people want to be free. There's not a person that I know right now who see themselves as, you know what, I don't want to be free. You know, I'm cool being like this. I'm cool. And if they are, I could tell them right now that you're lying to yourself. There's things that you want to express. There's things you want to uh, say. There's, there's ways you want to be that you just won't allow yourself to be because of certain circumstances because people, because your parents, because of something else. That holds people back. What holds people back the most is this believing that one day they'll be free. This believing, and that may be holding you back. This, you know what, right now, I'm not free, but in some way I'll be free one day. And just that track, I have to stop you and cut it off. That's not true. You will never be free in that way. I can promise you that you will never be free in that way because freedom in itself, guess what? It's who you are. You don't have to do things to become free. Everything you do is an act of the freedom that you already are. But to be free as yourself, it takes fucking work. It takes work. I'm telling you right now, it does. Me and a constant let go, whether it be through family, through friends, through the women, through the, through the let go, that's been so hard for me. Guys, they feel like, you know what? All I have to do is a few things, then I'll be free enough to do whatever I want. They believe this whole track of, you know what? If I just go out there and I approach enough women, I'll be free. They believe this track of, you know, if I go out there and I do just enough of this, then I'll be free. They believe that the freedom comes through the doing. The doing of this, the doing of that, the doing of this. But the doing can only give you freedom of doing. But freedom as being, freedom as who you are, that comes from being able to consistently sit in those situations, not just in relation to women, but in relation to life that scare you. 
Now pulling it back to women, of course, when you feel free, you see a woman and as an act of freedom, you go over and you say hello. That's a beautiful act of freedom. A man has that at his disposal any moment to be able to go, yes, yes. I like her, yes, yes. But if he's someone who is not willing to become more free and more free, become more free and more free, be more free and more free, he won't feel the freedom that he wants to feel truly. And any man who becomes addicted to just going up to women and doing it for you know the sake of like being free yes he'll he'll get us a good level of freedom and many guys will look up to him he'll have women but the thing that's gonna really make him free is being free giving you the chance in this video to be free as a man is the only thing I'm interested in doing when you are interested in your own freedom you become freedom your own freedom. I mean, what inside of you is holding you back from being that which you are in relation to women? What is holding you back? When you figure out what's holding you back, then you can now move in a different direction. You can now move in a direction that you want to go. Not in a direction that's out of reaction, but in a direction that you want to go. The direction that's out of reaction is away from freedom. The direction towards what you want is as freedom. But most of us as men, most of us, we usually go towards the re direction of reactivity. No, I don't want to do this. Oh, there she is, I don't want to do this. I would, but if, uh, and then just away. And to, instead of towards what we want. Instead of, there she is, I want to talk to her. Instead of, I like that woman, I want to go speak to her. Instead of this direction, we lean towards this direction because guess what? When we do this, it lets up on the intensity over here. Maybe we feel so scared to do this. Maybe we feel like if we go here, there's too much at stake. But if we go here, I can remain where I am. It feels comfortable. One day I'll be free. I'll go here. Can you see the absurdity of one day I'll be free. I'll go here. It'll happen at some point. Just that ignorant belief. That's what it is. It is ignorant belief. And we're fed that in a way. We're fed that in a way that we're, we already are free. That's what we're fed. We're fed from society that we are already free as men, so no need to go out there and do this and this and this. You're already free. You know, you're gonna one day get a woman that's beautiful and you're gonna love each other and you're gonna have a great relationship and you're gonna have kids. They feed us that one day it'll all be great. One day you're gonna be free. One day you're gonna have that beautiful girl. They feed us this. But being fed all these things, we start to go, this food is false. This is McDonald's. It's not, it is. This is McDonald's as opposed to a salad. This is McDonald's. It's false, absolutely. If you eat McDonald's, you will feel full, you'll feel good, you'll feel, you put a smile already. You will feel good. You will feel good. But where has that led you? Where has it led me? down the road of wishing that this will happen. Down the road of believing, you know what, at some point it will. To the point where I just had to give up and go, I have to eat something different if I want to be nourished in a different way. I can't continue to eat McDonald's if I want to be nourished. I have to eat salads, this is a metaphor. Same with you. You can't continue to believe that, you know what, when I and this, then I'll have this. And you just sit back. And you like one day. And I know in some way you're starting to wake up, that's why you're with me in this video, but most people won't. So the fact that you're here and you do have the chance, please take this to heart. If you truly value freedom, 
if you want to be free as a man, you need to allow the act of you walking up to a woman to be expressed. That is a true act of freedom that's already from you, that already wants to be expressed from you. You just stop it. You don't have to go out there to do free things to go talk to a woman. You have to understand that the freedom is already there, but there's so much on top that you can't see it. That's simply it. And as you go look at it, and as you look at a woman, you want to go speak to her. That is just an act of the freedom that's already there. That wants to be expressed. That absolutely does. That wants to go somewhere in that moment. You want to be free enough to just go over there and to express yourself. That feels good. This is why guys get addicted to doing this because they feel so much freedom from doing the thing that they always used to struggle with. They, they, they just like, I used to struggle with doing this. I love doing this now. Approaching can give you a feeling of freedom. It absolutely can. It can give you a sense of it in some way. I want you to understand that it's the act of your freedom until you start doing it, really, until you start doing it at some point, you'll always feel locked down. I don't care if you go out there, you jump out of an airplane, you try, you, you, dry, you scry bungee jumping, you try things to make you free, that won't even touch the surface of going to express yourself freely to a woman. It will not even graze the surface. Because when you're doing these things, these things are really far away from being able to really give a gift. It's just going into it and trying to become free. But when you see a woman and you wanna go talk to her, this is now for real. This is a way of truly giving a gift, truly being able to be yourself in the moment. That's what's great about going to talk to a woman. Yeah, it may be cool to just wait, but I can tell you right now, your choice is very limited. Us as men, we have this beautiful thing to give. And I want you that's watching this, please understand that your gift can only be given when you realize that you have it. When you realize that you actually have a gift to give, which is freedom to the women out there, now you can go up to women in a different way. Remember, do you want her to end up with a guy that's locked down, that doesn't want to express himself, that feels like he cares about what people think? Or do you want him, aka you, do you want her to want a guy, aka you, who is free, who can express himself, who really wants to give her different experiences? Which guy do you want her to want? Because guess what? Most of them will end up with the guy who's afraid of what people think. We'll end up with the guy who's not really there with her. We'll end up with the guy who lacks presence, aka a guy that's not really that masculine. But she can be with the guy who's in himself, a guy who cares, a guy who wants her, a guy who's there with her and wants to give her different experiences spontaneity, spontaneously, aka a goddess masculine. I hope this gave you a wake-up call to understanding that you are free, that you want freedom, that freedom is something that is you, not something you have to go out there and do to become. That when you see a woman and you want to go speak to her, that is an act of the freedom that you already are that wants to be expressed. That is a gift that wants to be given in the moment. And when you give it fully, when you allow it to be fully expressed in that moment, the freedom that wants to go somewhere, then the woman can really benefit from you. Thank you for tuning in on this lovely Monday in Madison, Wisconsin. The campus is beautiful, huh? Uh, yeah, it becomes pretty. I have something for you though. I have, you, I have a free Meet the Bedroom series. That's everything from what to do on the approach all the way to the bedroom. That's totally free for you. Uh, in the link below in the description box, you can just click that link, go there, put in your email, and you'll get that right away. Now I'm in America, just to let you guys know, my tickets will be out in a few weeks for New York City, then Toronto, then San Francisco, where I'll be giving seminars that's very different. Stay tuned to the videos that I'll release on my channel about that. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that what you want, in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. This is Tony Solo saying, I'm out guys.